time for another unboxing hopefully these books are going to be better than the last batch i still have like three more boxes that i gotta unbox but i'm doing like two at a time all right let's check out what these are and hopefully it's better news all right so i decided to open up another box which was also a pre-screen look at it it came with a red dot i don't even know what that means maybe they just left it there hopefully it's not anything bad um Hope it's not damaged books. So that's not what it is. 20 out of 25 made it here. 14 out of 25 made it here. And 19 out of 25 made it on this one. Most of these are not huge books, okay? I mean, you don't expect it with brand new, like, modern books. Most of these are going to be. But there's some pretty decent stuff in here and stuff that I could probably move. Even in this economy, you know, even in this state of affairs that we're in. Look, recessions. We're in a recession. So recessions typically last, I would say, one to one to one and a half years. And hopefully it doesn't turn into a depression, all right, uh, which we haven't, in, haven't been in in quite a while. But, uh, yeah books are going for much less i know that i mean you you watch channels like comic tom or something like that you've kind of figured that maybe books aren't taking too much of a dive because yeah the enthusiasm enthusiasm that they have but um yeah books have taken dives and so have so has everything look at stocks look at look at um bitcoin you know you invested in Vic bitcoin at sixty thousand dollars, you're hurting right now, big time. Look, are people be going to be driven out of the market? People have driven out of every market for whatever reason, one reason or another. But the market will be back. Just a matter of time, but it will be back. If you don't have money to buy comics, do not put it on credit. Do not buy comics on credit you buy comics only if you have the cash you have the funds available and you don't you know you don't need it for like your basic needs you know your rent your food you know even entertainment with your family don't put comics in front of that it's it's a luxury comics uh, comics are just like baseball cards just like any hobby is a luxury you know um I'm selling I'm selling my books, but I'm not selling the big books right now. I, I do put out some decent stuff out there, but I'm not willing to let it go um, for, you know, dirt low prices. You know, not going to do that. All right, let's open this up, all right? But remember, always never buy comics on credit. That's a good way to go broke. All right. Out of the 75 books, only two came back that I consider bangers, you know. And the one good thing is that they're all 9.8s, right? But the majority of these books are just, eh, you know. I'm going to take the words of Jimmy Bowers. Some of these are going to be even Steven. Like, I know, that's, that's not going to be even Steven. This one right here. We're gonna we're gonna call need a miracle because that's what I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a miracle for this baby. Uh, the reason is I sold I've sold two of these books on auction in my comic shop. I put them up for an auction because I don't think anybody's gonna type almost America number one. I just don't think anybody's gonna type that, you know. So I had it on um, on auction. And it did not sell well. Two books went for under $20 sales on my comic shop. I think one of them, or maybe both of them might have went even under 15 or right around there. Complete loss. Can we say complete loss together? Oof, uh, steak in the heart, right through the heart. And I'm to blame. Um, yeah, man, I... Should have should have known that uh, majority of comic book fans are probably left wing, 
probably all right i don't see too many republicans uh gop members here in uh this hobby there has to be though right there gotta be some people that are like reagan you know i love this cover i'm keeping one of these regardless but um yeah not too much support for reagan here 20 bucks less than 20 bucks i mean at least the guy that that got it must have been like yeah you know I'll never sell that on auction again. They'll be sold, but they'll be sold um, as buy and nows. I got six of them back. And in the words of Jimmy Bowers, I'm going to need a miracle to sell them. All right. But I'm going to sell them one at a time, even if it takes. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm going to be selling them one at a time. I love the cover. It's limited to 400 issues, and I can't believe people just don't. Don't like it or don't like him, maybe, you know? Hmm. All right, next one. All right, here's a book that I don't know how well this is going to do. I got seven back at 9.8. I think those are the only seven that I bought, though. Pretty sure those are the only seven I bought. I think I, I hit on all of them. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know how well I'm going to do because I haven't sold one yet, so... I might put one up for auction and then see how that does and um and depending on that I might I might just put the the you know one one by one I'd buy it now as if if the auction doesn't do well look this man was is a legend is still a legend you know it will always be a legend one of the greatest artists that ever lived tragic that we lost him when I saw this um this cover, all I could think of was this Voodoo Child, right? It's freaking awesome, man. Freaking awesome cover. So, who does this cover anyway? Uh, Nino Camerata. Nino Camerata. Beautiful, beautiful piece. But is it going to translate? Is it going to translate? Uh, we'll see. I'll find out. See if other people like it as much as I did. Uh, Department of Truth number 13 this is, and this is, of course, Out of Limits, uh, Borough Edition variant. It was limited. I want to say it's either 400 or 600, but it was limited. Uh, yeah, Department of Truth, maybe Tynan loves uh, rock and roll because... They made Metallica uh, covers. They made uh, Nirvana covers. Queen. Now Hendrix. Met uh, I said Metallica already. I think the Metallica cover I did real well with. I couldn't get the Van Halen one. Uh, well, that was great. I also couldn't get the Nirvana one either. But uh, oh, yeah, they, either, they, they even did a, a Beatles cover as well. All right. Next book. I would have to say that this is the biggest loss that I've ever had in one single title ever. I say title because I bought different types of books here. This particular book is the only one that actually made me money. It's probably going to continue to. But all the other versions that I bought from this are all losses, especially the one in 100s. Uh, I had slapped four of these before the cover A's, and all four sold for $55 each on my comic shop. I'll take that, you know. I think I might have sold one or two on eBay, and maybe the other two on my comic shop. But anyway, it was like $55 each. So, is that enough to make you say, hey, let me get that modern and make 50 bucks out of it? That is a negativo, positivo, my friend. No way. You can't do that. You shouldn't do that. But that's what I'm doing in order to get some of my cash back, some of, some of the stuff that... Uh... So, what happened with this, I've told this story three times already. I'll tell it a fourth time. 
I was the first one on YouTube that talked about Berserker. I'm pretty confident I was because I didn't see anybody else. And I watched a lot of channels. I didn't see anybody else discuss it. When I was talking about it, the highest print that they were going to do was a 1 in 100. That was their variant. 1 in 100, Grandpa. But what happened? COVID happened. And then the print run got delayed. And in that time it got delayed, Boom got really creative. And they went after a 1 in 200, 1 in 500, 1 in 1,000. And then what happened? This book got just, oh my gosh, just got washed up with all the other printings. They came out with um, different incentives for comic book shops. And the one incentive that might save this book is that comic book shops were told, hey, if you can't sell the cover A's, you can send them all back. So I don't know how many comic shops sent their books back for refunds, all right? but they all ordered a thousand books at least to get that one signed by Keanu Reeves. And uh, because of the incentive, I'm pretty sure a lot of the cover A's were probably sent back. Either way, there's there's a ton of these out there. There's a ton of these, but you could sell them for 50, 55 bucks a piece. You know, people figure 55 bucks for a 9.8 over Keanu Reeves. The first book ever made with Keanu Reeves is going to be a uh, movie. And they do still buy them for 50 bucks, so... Chump change, yes, but at least I get rid of some of my stock, of most of my stock, really. 18 books. Now, you know what? Not most of my stock. I still got the 1 in 100 that I still haven't sent. All right. Um, 18 books. 11 of the cover A's came back. All of these are cover A's. You see that? But 11 cover A's came back, 9.8. And then seven of the other types of printings. That one is a foil. That's a 1 in 25, I think. 1 in 50 on that one. And um, I think that was a cover B. But anyway, yeah, just... I would say on the cover A's, I'm waiting by Beak. In the words of Jimmy Bowers, chump change, chump change. But at least it's, it's a little bit of change in my pocket for the losses, uh, thousands that I probably, a couple thousand that I probably lost on those uh, one in one hundred. Some of them that I didn't even receive. Two books, was it two or three books that I didn't receive from um, Comics Exposure? Never buy from Comics Exposure. Bunch of crooks and scammers. Yes, scammers. All right. Yeah, about that comic exposure comment. Look, I was, I was uh, warned by viewers of this channel not to deal with them, that they were uh, scammers. And uh, I didn't listen. I thought it was a good deal at the time for the 1 in 100, even though it was over 100 bucks a book. Okay, um, and I went after multiple books, and they sent me these books. These are the one in twenty fives, and I think they only sent me like three. Now I called them, I mean multiple, multiple times. Emailed them. They don't answer the phone. They don't answer your emails. So yes, you can probably get your money back. You can uh, probably. Uh, take them to court or something but now i gotta travel over there i gotta get a lawyer probably i i'm just taking the loss you know i i i make enough cash which is really the wrong thing to do should be like a class action lawsuit against these creeps do not deal with comics exposure if you want to throw your money away just give it to a homeless person at least they can use it and do something with it you know but don't buy from uh, comics exposure all right, next book up. 9.8. I did not buy this book intentionally. This was in a mystery lot on YouTube. I think I bought this from J. Bob A1. 
Uh, 50 bucks. More than likely, this is another loss. Okay, because um, it's $50 plus the grading. And this, the, even though this series was hot at the time, um, and like I said, it was like a mystery type, you know, lot that he had in, um, in, 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 in his, I think he had like a short box or something. Uh, yeah, this book, uh, definitely has gone down quite a lot. The series, I've never read it. I've heard that the series is good. But um, maybe it doesn't have that many fans because the series has taken a hit. I might hold on to that just to see if maybe the, the series will come back. Next book up, Infamous Iron Man. I, you know what? This, I think, was a freebie from Sands, I want to say. 9.8. So, yeah. Great Doom cover. I'll take it. I'll take it. Sands has always been great to me. Um, yeah, that's that's just been. I think that's 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 a that's a win. That's a win. That's got to be worth something. I haven't even checked it, but it's got to be worth something. All right, the next books are my best books out of this lot. No, I think yesterday's uh, was it uh, yesterday or two days ago when I put out my last video. I think that was probably better better books in there than they are in here. These are moderns. Look, moderns guys. That this is why I'm staying away from moderns for the most part is because you they're just unknown. It's a lot of risk and in this economy I would go after certain books. Um but uh yeah, you you're 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 just rolling the dice sometimes. Book like this, it was it was too hard for me to resist. You know, I'm not saying I'm not gonna go after any moderns. All right, that's never like gonna be the case. I will definitely go after stuff that I like, and this is something that I like. So I don't know how well I'm gonna do or how bad I'm gonna do with this. This was limited to only 250 copies, sold out quick, as you would think, right? Because it's a Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan rookie card homage. Is that what you want to call it? Okay. Trading card variant cover. <laughs> yeah, trading card. Why would they say just trading card? I guess because they can't say his name because he'll, he'll sue them. He'll definitely sue them. You know, uh, yeah, man, I, I can't think that I'm not going to be in the black with these. Just too nice a freaking book. Okay, this is the Archie's Valentine special. I went after 10 of these. Let me see how many I got. I got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine of them made the 9.8. Man, if this is a hit, oh man. Now, I've had, I've had moderns where I bought a bunch of these like that. And I've had them be big time hits. Big time hits. Uh, I think this has the potential big time, but I don't know. Again, rolling the dice, rolling the dice. All right. Next one you'll recognize. As soon as I saw this, I had to go after it. Right now, it's, I think it's going over a hundred bucks. So yeah, this ends up being a pretty decent book. Uh... How many did I buy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These also, too. I, I just went after it because when I was reading reading, reading the uh, synopsis, it was like a bunch of first appearances. So I took a chance on three of them. Two of them came back 9.8. This one. 
Let me see, I think I bought five. So it's one, two, three, four. Four came back, nine, eight. Hey, four out of five, not bad. This, of course, is just a great cover. This has been doing well. I haven't checked the comps on it lately. I would have to think that it's still doing well. Great cover. Let me take it out of this thing. So you guys can see it. It's got like an older type damage book look on it, right? Like like a VG or a, or a VG minus one uh, Hulk 181. Nice, right? Very nice. And, uh, yeah, I uh, got two of those. And both came back. 9.8. Taskmaster. Great Expectations has gone really hard on different versions of this book. Taskmaster number three. Yeah. Great Expectations. Yeah, check out his channel, man. Guy's got some great content, too. Uh, but, yeah, he recommended this. Uh, but not this in particular, but um, the Taskmaster number three. This is one, one of his... Uh, I would say he's one of his better covers, I think, is the second printing. Uh... Scalefish, Wonder World Comics. It's it's a store variant, I guess. But that came back at nine point eight. That was also uh, on a YouTube auction that I bought. That I think that might still be doing okay. I think I think. And then these are the two books that I was saying are uh, the crumb of the crop, the best books in this lot. I only sent two of these for the pre-screen. This is from the last batch that I bought. Only one came back, 9.8. This book is a hit. This book will keep being a hit. Uh, there's a reason why uh, they took the... Uh, it, it was supposed to be a mini-series uh, or a, uh, a, a TV series, I should say. I don't know if it was supposed to be like one um season or but they changed their minds and they went for a movie you don't just do that and hopefully they won't cancel it the way they did like the new gods all right but um yeah this is the first appearance of the new blue beetle so it's still going hot and then the book that I like the most out of this line is this one. It's one of the rarest books. Something's Killing the Children. This is number two, the fourth print. Less than 800. I think it was 788 or something like that. Of this book that exists. One of the lowest print runs in the series. And um, I think this was part of the Keeper Project. It came back as a 9.8. Hey, <laughs> didn't have to get it pressed or nothing. Just came back as a 9.8. Those are the only two books that I consider bangers. That's it. The other ones, I mean, there's potential. Mm, but like Jimmy Bauer says, probably need a miracle, you know? <laughs> I would probably say that, but uh, I could end up seeing chump change. Uh, and these would you, would be your uh, this for you, Jimmy. Okay, um, Scrooge McDucklings is what he called it. <laughs> yeah, these are the two. Uh, all right, let's see the cost of these. Let's see the cost. So I was pulling out the paperwork so I could do the numbers, but then I noticed that there's some books in here that are missing, and it's because they sent me two different boxes, and I do remember now that I did this as an experiment. I sent 
I think it was six books out of the 25 to get um, the special labels, those custom labels. Pretty sure that's what it was. And I wanted to see if they would ship them all the same because it took the listing, including the shipping, together. But they shipped them separately, and I think they charged me separate sh shipping as well. I'm almost positive they did. All right, but uh, there's uh, some pretty decent books in this one. Open this up. Oh, yeah. Definitely better books. Custom labels. And I was debating keeping this one. Um, man, it's a great cover. It's phenomenal. Look at that. It's nice, right? Especially with that label. Pretty nice. Uh, I'm probably going to sell it, though. But I... I hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Great cover. Great cover. That's one. This one's been a winner for me. Been a winner. This is now my fourth. 9.8 out of the 10 that I bought for the uh, spec project. And I... I sent two of these out for the custom labels, you know. Yeah, nice. Very nice, very nice. 365, so one of them missed it because only one came back. Unless I sent three. We'll see which one's missed. This is incoming. This is a rare book. Not too many people know about this book. It's a... Uh, Wraparound cover. And what's the wraparound here? Boom, look at that. This is a uh, one-shot special edition. And this was a variant cover for it. But, um, yeah, I don't even know how much this would fetch. I, I don't think that there'd be any comps on it because it's, it's not a very... Um, a, a, a very heavily printed book so and then this I kind of wanted for myself because it's King Thor look at that <laughs> I, I might keep this I might keep this it's a Cubit variant cover yeah yeah I might keep this I, I gotta see I gotta see. Great cover though. And of course, two of them missed it. Two out of the six that I sent missed it. All right, let's go through the numbers. All right, first batch. This is the We Live batch with the six books with the custom labels formatted. All right, 18 books overall made the 9.8. Shipping to CGC was ten dollars. I thought it was fourteen, but it's ten. They charged me two separate uh, times for both shipping, so it's one fifty, eighty, and three fifty four comes out to five fifteen. Sixty for eighteen books, it comes out to twenty eight dollars and sixty four cents per book. That's only eighteen books, but. I mean, they're all nine eights, but you know, you look into, you know, you're you're already down. You're in, you're already in the hole, almost thirty bucks right there, just on slabbing fees alone on moderns. You know, uh, look, Halo Preview uh, missed it. America Chavez number three missed it. War of the Realms, New Agents of Atlas missed it. The, these are the dead games, the uh, GI Joe covers. They made it, but you know, Department of Truth 13s, I need that book to hit, or at least to make my money back. I mean, 30 bucks plus whatever I paid for the book, which I don't remember at the moment. Um, probably around 20 bucks, I would say, per book. So I would have to sell it for 60 bucks to get my money back. So hopefully it'll make more than that. 
All right. Uh, next one. Next one is the Berserkers. Berserkers, man. All right. That one, 20 books made it. Uh, shipping was 14 That's what that one is. $14 per book. Oh, no. 19 books made it, not 20 19 Comes out to $23.93 per book. I think they must, they might have gave me a discount on this for some reason. I'm thinking that maybe they deleted something because it should be higher than $23.93, I think. Should be higher than that, but all right. Either way, that's what it comes out to $23.93. So, yeah, I'll make money on these because the cover A's, yeah, the cover A's were I paid less than cover price, and you know, plus say 24 bucks. If I sell it even for 50 bucks, I make a profit. It's not much, all right. It's chump change, like Jimmy says, but uh, at least it's something, you know. All right. By the way, yes, that's why I'm staying away from moderns from now on because it's just not worth the time. It's just not worth the time anymore, you know. Again, I, I, I'm not staying away forever or for like for everything. But definitely for most things nowadays. I, I I look at some of the books now and I'm I'm like, hey man, that's a pretty cover or whatever. Nope. Not buying it. Not buying it. It has to really, really hit something for me to buy it. Alright. Archie's Valentine's. Like that one. Yeah, like that one. Okay. That's the one that was twenty books. And broken case. Hopefully that'll be the only one, but uh all right. We'll skip the shenanigans here. Twenty five dollars per book, twenty five dollars and five cents per book for twenty books. You know what? I gotta think. <laughs> I gotta think that this is gonna bring in more than fifty bucks. I have to think that. If you guys are interested in it, I'm going to be sending them to my comic shop this week. Uh, let me see. When would they be up in my comic shop on auction? Um, they should receive them by the end of the week. Maybe list them uh, by the end of next week. Yeah, so... Uh, looking probably at least three weeks before they get listed. I'm really, really um, curious on what this is going to go for. There's some books that surprise me big time. Even the Vampirella books, the Vampirella ones that I got. Oh, my God. With, with the flag that she's draped with the uh, American flag. That one did so well for me, too, man. It was so <laughs> I was surprised. I was expecting that book for, to sell for like 60 bucks on auction. Nope. Sold for a lot more than that. Uh, but yeah, that's the unboxing for today. It's not cheap with these moderns. Not cheap. So that's why it might be better just to stick with uh, a lot of Bronze Age or maybe uh, some better known books. You know. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm I'm still gonna do moderns, but have a good night, guys. All right, this is the state that we're in right now with CGC and their grading. These are modern books, less than two years old. Six of them missed the nine point eights. Modern books. I mean, I couldn't see anything wrong with these, but uh, but they can. Before, yeah, I used to get much. For something that's brand new like that, used to get much better percentages, but it is what it is now. Moderns, no matter what, in any era that you're in, you know, the moderns, if you go out and you buy a book for cover price, you have the biggest 
percentage, biggest chance that, you know, you're going to hit big with a particular book, let's say. I mean, but it all depends on what you get, you know. It, it all depends on what you get. So the, the biggest return you're ever going to get on the book is a book that you paid probably a uh, cover price for, you know. All these guys that you see that have these golden age books or silver age books. Yeah, a lot of times, man, it's like older guys that bought them off the rack back in the 60s, the 70s, you know, older men that bought them in the 40s. Yeah, I mean, if they're still around or maybe uh, they left them to their kids, but they went out and they bought them off the rack. Same thing with these moderns. I'm not saying this particular one, but, you know, you go out and you buy something like uh, Something's Killing the Children, and then all of a sudden it pops. Can't beat that return. Can't beat that return, you know. Um, but, of course, you're spending a ton of money on other books that it doesn't make it worth it. You know, it, it all depends on what you're getting. All right, so one missed it, one of the Halo I only sent one with the 75 books. This one here missed it. One of the realms. One of these missed it. Almost American. One of these missed it, man. But you know, I, I've been good with these. I've been really good with these. And they didn't get pressed. So, America Chavez, number three. And then two of the cover A's, 365 Directs. Not pressed. So then now, I'll pick some of these to go out to get pressed. These will not get pressed. They don't deserve to get pressed because they'll put me into the loss column if they get pressed. Uh, I'll, I'll rather wait on that, and I don't know, maybe, maybe sell them raw somewhere, uh, or maybe even give them, give them away. I don't know. This will be pressed. This one might get pressed. I think it's the first appearance of Catalina or something like that. Uh, it'll get pressed and it'll sell. I like the cover too. It's a decent cover, but um, it's not something that I'm keeping. America Chavez fan might appreciate it a lot more than I do. Uh, at least that's, that's what I'm hoping. This will get pressed. This one, you know what? I might send this one out to somebody here. You know, that's not a crease, by the way. When you see this book, it, it, it looks like it has a crease like that. It's not. That's just the way that I've seen it on on pictures, CGC graded pictures. And it, and it always looks like a crease on the picture. It's not. It's just the way that the picture is. I don't know why this missed, but it missed. And... With a press, it should be a 9.8. But I might give this one out to somebody. I don't know. Just raw. You know, have you guys try it and get it uh, get it graded. See if you can get a 9.8. Oh, by the way, the series, the fan base hated the series. I know because my sons hated the series. I didn't mind the series, actually. I, I watched the series and... I, I like the um, the cinematography. Uh, the story has changed from the video game, though. But let me tell you something, man. Like Marvel. When's the last Marvel movie that you've seen that hasn't changed? Okay? When do you see Peter Parker take his mask off every single freaking issue to show everybody who the hell he is? Right, everywhere he goes, he freaking takes his mask off, Peter Parker, in in the MCU, okay, or in the Sony movies. When do you see that? Okay, how about Mary Jane? Mary Jane Zendaya. Does Mary Jane look like Zendaya? I mean, seriously, seriously, man. And don't don't blame anything like on, uh, uh, you know, I'm a minority. I don't want to see Zendaya as Mary Jane. Okay, no. Mary Jane's a redhead. She should be. I mean, it's it's ridiculous what they freaking do in the MCU. 
uh, Thor, Hela. Hela takes his hammer and breaks it with one hand and is his sister. I mean, do they change things? Yeah, they change stuff for the Master Chief, but... I mean, it is what it is, and, but people didn't like it. It's, he's still a phenomenal character, and uh, I'm glad they, I, I, you know, his, the book has dropped significantly, probably because of the series. Uh, but they renewed the series, I think, two more seasons. <laughs> Go figure. Two more seasons. Still, It's still, the uh, I think, their most watched series, Paramount. That's what I got. Now, I'm super tired, guys. 99 nights.